This is a Cisco M20 router. Here are the four screws we need to take it out. This is the SPI chip. This is the JTAG port. On this front side is the signal pins and on the back are the ground pins. So the first pin is TRST and TDI and so on. Here I soldered a permanent uh, JTAG port on it and the soldering is a little bit difficult because the pin is a little bit short so be a little bit careful. I only soldered 10 pins for the JTAG and in here is a 12 pin but the last pin here is a reset pin and normally for our programming that pin can be ignored. And here is the back side of the JTAG pin. And the soldering of the JTAG pin does not affect the installation of the board. You can still put this back uh, normally. So even after the programming, you can still leave the uh, JTAG pin like this and you can close the case and use it. So no, no, not a problem here. Here is how the JTAG is connected. First, you need to power on like this and using the JTAG NT, connect to here. And only the first 10 pin is connected. If you solder the 12 pins, and then only tw first 12 pins are connected. And the pin to pin connection from USB JTAG NT to this router is just direct, really direct, just direct connect to it. There's no jump wire needed. This is a USB JTAG NT connect to the Linksys M20 with the JTAG port. First we power on, then we hit detect, and after you see here we need to enter the power uh, trap on mode, which this one gives the trap on, and then very first thing to do is I always suggest to, to back up first. So select the whole flash and then read it back. So we can save to a backup. Here we can program the DDWRT on it. So select the kernel here and we put the firmware here and I click right. So it erase first and then program it. because this is programming the SPI through the JTAG, so the speed is quite slow in here. The program is finished, let's verify it. In order for DWRT to work, you also need to clear the MVRAM part, which will write to it and make sure it's empty. So now this device has been programmed using JTAG method with JTAG, USB JTAG NT and programmed as DWRT router. This is ULink NT to connect to Linksys M20 
20 router through the JTAG port and on this side is the JTAG port and Unink NT come with the jumper wire and you need to make the connection based on the software diagram and here are the signal pins on the back are ground pins this is Unink NT uh, pro connect to the Cisco M20 router through the JTAG port first we need to detect and we also need to go to the trap arm then we need to make a backup you can see the read speed is a little bit faster than the USB JTAG NT in this case So we save the backup. And now let's program the DDWRT on it. So this is finished and we can compare, uh, write the NVRAM as well. So go to the kernel, compare it. So again, I'm using US Ulink NT to program this router to DDWRT through the JTAG method.